Yo, come check out the Who's the greatest girl? You can find us at the Like and subscribe to the Tell your people about the Much love from the What's up, so man? What, what's better, the the camera angle this way or the other way? Does it matter? Don't worry about it, Ryan. That's not what we're talking about. How are you guys doing? It feels like we are here. It feels like it's been fifteen years. Oh, we've been busy. Agree. We've been busy moving. Sean, I almost forgot what you look like. I know, but if you forgot what Wallace looks like, that's what he looks like. There he is. Yeah, you little bitch. Um, no, I'm just kidding, Wallace. Kind of love you. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I don't really fucking know you. So, so, so. <laughs> Shout out to Why Andrew. Why did say Kevin? I thought his name was Jacob. It is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah Why yeah. does it say Kevin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um... Okay. <laughs> he doesn't deserve his first name. That's the real point. But um, yeah. Ryan, you have so much background noise. You have the crickets. Oh wow! Yeah, you yeah. Sound, that's like exciting. So <laughs> well, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I'll turn yeah, it off. Yeah, let it go. I can. No, 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 I can edit the audio. I'll take out the background noise. We won't hear it. Yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll do the you'll do the magical stuff. I love Bro, the magical I'm stuff. I'm working on it. We're really stepping up our game. <laughs> Okay. Um, <clears throat> original beats and all, guys. You know. Ooh. That's Look the homie right there. Upcoming LP. So. Yeah, you hear that wind. Karina, I really enjoyed our conversation okay. the other day. Like it was, it was cool. Like it helped I me. I did too. It helped me do my process, and then like I made whatever joke it was, and then Karina is like, "I'm fucking dying right now. Like I feel bad for whatever you got going I'm... on, but also like I'm laughing because you were joking. So it's like, I don't know. It was good. It was good. It was really good. It was funny. Yeah, yeah, I felt so bad. I was like, I'm laughing at his pain right now, but he's cracking me the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this bitch tried to come and talk to me about it after the fact, and I'm like, Yo, bitch, I need a minute. Like that's how I'm feeling in the moment. I'm like, Like, come the fuck down. <laughs> Give me yeah, a second. She's like, Quit crying like a pussy. Why well, I wasn't crying, but it's traumatizing. Let me, let me. So, yeah, right. so. Look at that. It's, it's so much noise and shit. This guy's like, let me walk to the... Anyways, anyways. I know. So, really? so walking is good for you. There is the like, audio keeps cutting out everywhere. Cause right, of the right. <laughs> You're welcome. So, oh, God, they're going to kill me. There's like a rejection. The rejection's like the worst, right? Where it's just like, if, yeah. you, get like, if you get like a no or like a you or like a whatever, that's a problem. But... The boyfriend thing normally would be mitigated if you like no, which was my uh, whole goal, right? But on top of that, the option of like you're being on the phone with the guy at the time when I ask you is just like one in a million, you know? So For sure. What an odd occurrence, you know? I still God damn think that if he would have been like, so is he coming on the date? To, no, 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 like, no, 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 no. The deal, like, the deal, the deal is sealed now, Karina. Yeah, we've already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not like no over. What does that mean? No overconfidence. So I've been like working it, trying to figure out what's going on here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Because there's a vibe. I have a vibe. Like if I. If I catch a vibe, there's a vibe. Like, it, there's no mistake in it. Period. I've never. It's never been wrong, right? So. Okay. So, anyways, there was a you vibe. You ride that vibe, Sean. It's always worked. It's always worked. I'm just saying. All night long. It's never been wrong. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it. Uh oh. Uh. 
fix my hair. This shit's bugging me. How far are you now, know. Ryan? Um, I am like a little better than halfway. Okay. Okay. What time does that gas station <laughs> close, though? Oh, that's even funnier. Even it's nine. Well, do gas stations close? Definitely. All of them? There's no 24 7 gas no. stations? No, there is a 7 Eleven right across the street. So, so good. It says it's that like, that shit's closed, Ryan. Oh, God wow. damn it. <laughs> well, it's a good thing there's a 7 Eleven right across the street. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, sponsors? We are sponsored by the uh, Kevin Wallace. Sorry. Anyways, yeah, the Kevin Wallace initiative. So, so, but are we? So, so, no, not really. But we got. I got I a like free shirt. My... <laughs> oh, look, look, look! Wow. As soon as we get even a single donation, I mean, you know me. We've been hanging out for a long time now. I don't like owing anybody anything. So, if we get fifteen dollars, you're each getting five dollars. Clear cut. Even if I have to pay, I'll pay wow. the taxes Shut out of my five. Feel free ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah, yeah I can't have. Yeah, please donate. I can't <laughs> wait until we get famous and you guys can just talk on the internet and get paid because of my idea, and we're all happy. Wow. But do you know why? I love it. Do you know what? We give you each of our $5 back to invest in our podcast because we love you guys. Well, see, I'm that's, buying more shares. That's once, that's once, like, if shit really <clears throat> popped off, you'd have to look at it and go, like, all right, guys, we made X amount of money. I can break you off the money now, or do we want to take that and invest it into whatever this is? But. Yeah, yeah, that's that's always like, invested. Fuck the bullshit. I hear you. Let's I make a greater you. podcast because yeah, Every, it's our baby. Everything though, right? Because like the yes chef, thank you chef videos are like a branch off of it now, and then the mm -hmm. vlogs are like a branch off of it now. You know, so like there's little things. Like, is so this a vlog podcast? Is this a vlog no. of me walking to no. the store? Oh, while we're talking uh, about it, like, who knows if I'm going to keep it in or not, but I need you to send that last video that you said it didn't have room. You know what I'm talking about? From the bro date? Me? Yeah. Oh, no. Not me. I uh, can't hear him now. What up? Ryan. Bro? See? <laughs> so, bro date, the video. The video you said that you had. I need that last Yeah, video. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Is the, is the job box figured out now? Yes. But I, I, it's crazy okay, that cool. there wasn't space because I paid for upgraded space. I don't know what goes on, McDougary. I just know that he yells at me, and I tell you what it says. All right. So, uh, <laughs> I we have nothing down because, like, I actually just did a little ten-minute episode of me, like, just kind of addressing how I'm not feeling creative at the moment. And that uh, we have no content, and I'm just not feeling up to it, right? <laughs> We're just going on about it. But at the same time, we have 60 episodes in the tuck, right? 60 of them. Yep. If we have people that are interested, we got 60 episodes. Go check them out, right? We got 60 whole episodes. Yeah. Well, 61 yeah, now. Yeah, use new content when we fucking can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired, There's guys. There's a lot of shit going on right now, guys. I'm in love, you know? In lust. Love. <coughs> Whatever Ryan wow. calls it. <laughs> They're both L words. Yeah, he's in lust. It's yeah. cool. I, no, I don't. It. Yeah, I mean, I don't. it's also referred to as puppy love, you know? It's that first she captured my heart moment. I hear what you're saying, <coughs> Ryan, but I need you to understand. I've caught... I've like I've went for like three vibes in my life now. Well, they look open, guys. Hold on. What? Are you sure they're close? Oh, they, they said open. on the internet. Granted, right granted, right yeah, and the internet does not lie. <laughs> yeah. It never lies. 
Period. Sorry, we're also recording a podcast right now. Oh, Ryan, don't be weird. Podcast. You want to say hi to everybody? He's always weird. Hey, hey, what up, guys? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Fuck yeah. We did need this, Ryan. Oh my god! I now support your decision. Autistic. (laughs) Slightly. Uh, Now this is what comes. This is what comes along with it. Yep. (laughs) But we did get the moment that we needed, which is we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. it. I can clip it right where it needs to be. Um, And I love the way that it's frozen. It's frozen. It's It's frozen because we can keep this too. This is going to be like our little. Me and you need to make fun of him now. Do you see his face? Look at his face. It's crazy. You see his tistic fucking face. Oh my god! And then he's so happy that he just got in the store and he's he's like, "This guy went along with my motive." So yes, yeah, always. That's always how Ryan goes. I don't know. If- Meanwhile, he's getting murdered by the shell guy. Oh my god! If we come, <laughs> we come back. Shell guy has his headphones on, phone uh, up. He goes, "Ah, oh, podcast, check out dead body." Oh, this is a good idea. <laughs> so, this is to a very different kind of podcast. It would Who's that be. Green ash it dirt? would be. Yeah, that That's is kind of green. I got him that shirt. I got him that shirt. He oh, well, my when... Karina, he hears us now. He hears us shitting on him now. Oh, no. We can't. We got to stop. No, no. I heard you the whole time. What are you talking <laughs> about? Fun. My headphones <laughs> did disconnect now, and I have no idea why. <laughs> oh, man. You got to have fun in life, right, Ryan? We love you. That's so good. Mm. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, They're here in Florida, too. Oh. Yeah, hey, it's uh, my wife and my homie, for sure. I'm your boyfriend. Say yeah, Slim right. Chances Podcast. You can check us out on YouTube. Please go subscribe, bro. You'll be on the next episode, I swear. Or what else? No, you're good. We're on like a billion other places too, right? Apple stuff. Wherever. You know, wherever. If you're, if you <laughs> want, wherever you get your viewing. If you want something. Yeah, man. If you, you say bye. Hey. hey yo. Shout out to you, guy. Yo. yo, yo. Oh, my God. That's what's Shout up, out Ryan. to the shell guy. Shout out to the shell guy. Shout out to the shell guy. Plot Whoa. twist: Shell guy did not kill him. Shell guy did Thank not God. kill him. Maybe oh. next time. <laughs> Bummer. Yo, um, come back for next episode. We'll have Ryan walk to the store again and give it another shot. Uh, I agree. Sorry, excuse me. Some chances, podcast listeners. I've had alcohol. How dare you? Don't excuse him. Um, yeah, Just don't kidding. don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Ryan, um, you you made it. Good job. We're proud of you. I'm proud of Good you. Good job. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me. He didn't make it. Yet. He's still gone. All right. So where are what, we at what, now? Are we gonna do the beer hall? What is our next? Yeah, we just left we the show. Where? What is our next? What beer directive? did we get? It's the beer our hall. Our next directive is to go find the homeless man in the back alley. You need to stop. Yeah, no, What's the beer right. hall? What'd you get? Yeah, Look, me and the homie can go. Me and the be- me and the homeless guy can go hang out with some beer. Right, right. Uh, but you wow. got a six pack. That's not a four pack. That's a six pack. I yeah. said they don't exist. And that's illegal, Ryan. You can't do that. You're in public. You're right. They didn't exist. Jesus. Not the um, good kind, anyway. I mean, I could have got a four banger like Bush. But. Well, don't don't get me wrong. If you go to like some hood <laughs> stores, they'll let you buy it by the bottle. So he's Did not. You say wrong. I couldn't do that. He's not wrong, but he just didn't go to the right. Stop drinking! You cannot do that. That is fucking illegal. Yeah, it's illegal, Ryan. We're gonna put this on the internet. You're you're about to catch us in a Rico case, just like Young Thug. Yes. R- rest in peace, Rico. All right, I, I would like. I would like to say I have no idea who Ryan is. I'm not actually married to him. I am legally single, never married, never will be. Ryan, so you need to fix this guy. Right on the podcast. Okay. I'm sorry to do this to you, but we're going to do a poll what? on Anchor. Okay. And every nice, on anchor. every yep. episode has had a poll, and I know that most of you probably don't go to Anchor. It's our our least viewed thing. But if you really love us, and we need to know, should Ryan propose to Karina tomorrow? Yes or yes? All right, we're gonna 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> or Pull it out. Yeah. We're gonna Pull it out. We're gonna move on. Wait. But um and then we're gonna have a second poll and it's gonna be should Karina say yes? And it's gonna be no. Oh or, or no. No. <laughs> oh wow, Ryan. Bah. Oh, you lost your wife. Oh, wow. <laughs> this got weird. My, we're gonna go to marriage my counseling life is now. Over. We're gonna <laughs> Ryan, we're gonna go to what we talked about earlier. Um, moving on. <laughs> What we talked what about. What did we talk about earlier? What we talked about Go earlier. Miami. To to be honest, no, 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 no. To be honest, Ryan can attest to this. What we talked about earlier was if you guys get divorced, I'm hanging out with you more than Ryan. I agree. Me? It was yeah. definitely concluded. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the last statement. I was like, "Yo, man, <laughs> me, and your, me and your wife had a good conversation the other day. I gotta leave you behind, guy." She wins. Yeah, he said I gotta call her more. I'm a great friend. <laughs> she wins me in the divorce. Yeah, Ryan's been slacking lately. Yep. You've been really getting up there in the polls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to listen. I keep don't understand that like why I don't uh, have Yeah, friends. keep hitting the like button. I agree. I agree. Oh wow, it is because yeah. of her support, right? That is what it is. A little bit. It's the dopamine. Whenever I see Karina like a video, I'm like, ah, <laughs> nice. She cares, my friend. She cares. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. I try. I try all the time when I see you post something new. I'm like, oh, let me make sure that I go like everything that he's posted in the past like seven days. Yo, this one She's video. Like, let me flood his dopamine receptor. This one video that I posted on TikTok. Here is that two thousand six hundred and eighty-eight views. Nice. Our our overall YouTube views now have reached three thousand views. Oh, so, nice! So we've had three thousand wow. people watch our videos. Go us! Keep that, liking, keep subscribing. We're here for you, punk. I mean, that's just Slim pretty gifts. dope. And then to be honest, like we've grown punks. They're not. I I just see over time we were just at. I was fighting to get past the 40 mark, and we're at 58 mm -hmm. subscribers right now. Right? Whoop, whoop. Shut up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So it's just like a steady little, like, we're just fucking off and having fun in our life. We're doing what we I normally agree. would do, right? But and we're growing just, the family. But let's just say all of a sudden, right? Spotify is like, we'll give you a million dollars. And we go, fuck you. If you'll pay me a million, I'm worth 10. We don't take the deal. We grind harder and we become fucking billionaires from podcasts. And I'm falling yes. in love. I fall in love. Or the day, yesterday, the day before, I don't know, this motherfucker dead ass comes. <laughs> He's like, I just want me and her to ride off into the sunset together and then give her half my shit in a few years. And I love every bit of look, composure that i've ever had look look we can all have you dreams. sound like my uncle we can all have <laughs> dreams and i'm just realistic so i'm not at this point i understand like okay this is actually a, a, a i don't i didn't know i don't really know if i want to get into this this is something florida. i just talked about on this florida Bob. what was that what is it yeah it's like a swamp a little swampy area right there Oh, I thought it was going to be like it's an made, alligator. It's made to catch water. Or like homeless oh, people. Look. A big swampy ditch. Where are you? Are you walking past the high school? Yep. Look, there's I was like, school. where the fuck are hey, you? Guys, you know that high school we always talk about? There it is. You mean the ah, high school where, that I was... Hi. This is where McDougary and I met. Hold on. Because we met basically... Literally in that fucking... That, yeah, right in, there. In like... I would, that class yeah room. yeah i would say it's right above my head yeah yeah okay so you so ryan one? ryan pan that camera one more time and i i'm gonna have to edit this in a way all right keep going keep going go over to where the old uh the old auto uh, not auditorium but the old sports whatever okay right there cool now there used to be portables off to the left me and Gustavo one time, I swear to God to you, I'm going to fucking science class. 
I don't even know. Ryan had to have been. It was the weirdest fucking shit. I can't tell this really on the <laughs> podcast, but I'll tell it now. I go into this. We're 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 right on the back side of the portables because nobody's ever in that old building ever. That's wow. I got away with it. I'm gonna say that the buildup was so intense. Oh, wow. And then See, how that's... anticlimactic oh, it came. I was fuck. like, wow. She's always on my I ride. thought She just shit on my story. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just saying. I was like, oh, oh my God. He's about to get so fucked. Because you oh, were literally. He I was like, tell you I'm about fucked. the time I got and caught. I was like, uh, yeah, I mean, I oh my you. God. <laughs> Dear. But this is the thing. Like, you got to be good at crimes, right? Like, I, I didn't. I only got caught one time, and it was it was literally because of Gustavo. It wasn't my fault. Like, I, I don't, I'm, I don't slip up. I've gotten out of every situation I've ever been close to being in. The only time I, got I've been caught, arrested in every situation I've ever been close to being in. Right. And so think about <laughs> this. The only time that me and Ryan both had a situation, we were trespassed, but not arrested. So we met in the middle. We met in the middle between our two abilities. I'm sorry. I agree. It makes perfect sense. Doesn't it or not? So yeah, the universe, the universe took our like, energies and combined them. Yeah, the universe was like, really bad criminal, really good criminal, mediocre criminal. I just, I just, I just heard Jada Kiss where he was like, I ain't got no felonies, I'm good at crimes. And from then on, I was like, yep. Like, it's not going to happen. To me. That's right, me. I embody, I embody that. Yeah, I embody that. But I, um, every time I've almost been caught for any dumb shit that I've ever done, it's been with Jake. Not like I guess now it's a little different, <laughs> but like every time I've I got through with the, like just the by the skin of my ass was with Jake, and it was like there, I, there's too many times to count where there was police interactions where it's like I don't know how the fuck we got out of the situations. It doesn't even make Jake sense. Jake seems like, Jake strikes me as the kind of person that can, like, talk out of shit, like, talk himself out of shit. You know what I mean? We were at Cody Salazar's house. Mm-hmm. Drinking. I've never, I'd never been there. I don't know. I, I wasn't in a familiar area. It wasn't, I don't, I didn't, at that time, I had already had Sean, so I didn't really put myself in those situations. But everybody was going out, and I felt like. Nico, right? You're right, right. Um, okay. But I didn't, I didn't do shit like that normally. So it was just weird that I would even be in the situation. I didn't particularly, I'm not against Cody, but there was like. Our group of friends that I grew up around, and then there was like these mm-hmm. people that started becoming like part migrating of the group in, yeah. That I don't, mm-hmm. I don't, I just didn't know personal. I just don't, I didn't know them, so it wasn't the same for me, right? Um, but anyways, so it was just weird that I'd be over there. However, we're over there drinking, um, and Wallace goes, "Yo, I'm I'm too drunk to drive," and Jake's like, "Oh, I'm fine." I'll, I'll drive it. We're just going from Oniko, literally right there at the Burger King, to our house. Or, yeah. Or, um, yeah, I think it was our house. It, it doesn't matter. We're just going right over there. It, it was literally like either there or a, a block over the other way. But, um, right. So we all hop in the car, and Jake literally plows over the AC unit for the house. And not like a window mounted <laughs> unit, but like cement block mounted AC unit plows through it, rips it out. We're we're all drunk as fuck, and of course Cody's parents come out and they're like, "Oh, like you guys have been here part." They know we've been here partying, right? So we don't have. We had cleaned up. All of the beer. I don't remember how that happened or what happened, but that was like all cleaned up. Boom, 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 boom. And then, so the cops show up. Now, we're on this little back road right off of 15th Street. There's 15th Street. There's this little 
fucking Mexican market and a couple little front areas, but it's really the back road back. I used to buy little brown bags of weed. Like, it's just, I don't know. Are you talking south of 53rd or are you talking north of 53rd? 53rd. We're on 53rd. 15th Street. Mm -hmm. Right? If you were, yeah. there's that, there's the, what was it? The CVS that's been there forever or, or Walgreens or. I'm talking, you've uh, taken a uh, left by the Burger King yes, or you yes, taken yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. a right Burger, by the left cemetery? To, left left to the, the Burger okay. King. But, but. Okay, and I'm sure it's, how. it's not left at the Burger King. It's literally left at the next, next area you could turn into that's past that. Mm -hmm. What was it? What was it always? Um, the railroad tracks? No, no, no. Listen, it was, uh, it was a uh, um, pharmacy. It's one of those pharmacy brands. It was they. It was always something. Walgreens. Walgreens. Yeah, Walgreens. It used to no. be Eckerd's. Cool. Walgreens is across the street. It's Walgreens has always been. It's still there. Walgreens yeah. is right across the street i'm talking yeah about it used to be eckerd's and then they turned it into a spirit halloween for a while and then they you, but you know where i'm talking about so yep and then now it's like some medical so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so not turning not turning down 15th turning down the street that's directly after that it's right down this little block anyways i swear to you there there wasn't street room for how many cops were at this Sorry, house it's it's 12 one o'clock in the morning we're fucking lit we're all underage like none of us even could should be drinking alcohol right and the street flooded with cops and and and, and like I, I, like no oh, like it had to have at least been like 12 to 15 police officers cars just cars i don't know how many cops were there and I was drunk, and I don't know the the particular way of how it happened. We drove out of there. We drove out of there, and nobody ever paid for the AC unit. No, like nothing was done. Nothing was done ever about it. We literally drove away from there, still plastered, probably less plastered because of like the adrenaline and shit. But like. I Hold on, know. when you say we, though, did this include Cody? Was Cody also in the car? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> it was, it, like, th but this is the shit that, like, I've, I've had so many of those situations go by where I'm not normally the <clears throat> one to say, like, there's white privilege. I might have some white privilege. I've gotten away with a lot of shit. I feel bad for Cody's parents. I mean, yeah. They had to pay for that as AC a, unit. As a Down there, I would have killed my child. Well, I mean, to an extent, you got to know what you're getting yourself into whenever you let your underage son and his homies come drink at your fucking house. Like they said they cleaned up the beer. I don't think they knew. Yeah, see, that's the other weird thing. Like, <sighs> they knew to a point to call us out about it when it's like of course you guys did this because you're drunk but it wasn't enough to like prevent the activity that was going on but but if, but if i'm being real like all i remember is adults doing that our my whole dude i had a i had a friend right who uh he he had a horrible habit of running away from home right and every time he ran away from home his mom would reward him in some capacity. So one time, she rented us a villa on Anna Maria Island for like four days after he ran away from home. She was like, yeah, but if you come home, I'll rent you this villa and you can go run away to the villa for a couple of days and then come home and do your chores, honey. <laughs> and it was, a, it was a fun time. It was a fun time at the villa unsupervised. What is the name <laughs> of this person? And then I'll bleep it out. Oh wow, Dylan Bell. Okay, all right, I'll bleep it mm -hmm. out. That's funny. I don't know who that is, but I was just wondering if I knew. I gotcha. Yeah, we wound up locking him in the closet for a little while, 
at one point in time. <laughs> what? <laughs> he got, he got what? really mad and uh, pushed his way. Well, we let we eventually got off the closet, and he pushed really hard, and he went into the wall behind the closet door, and so we also destroyed the villa a little bit, and it was kind of bad. <laughs> Did, but nothing did, also ever came of that, you know? Does it make you, like, a, like wonder how you got away with it first, but then also worry a little bit because you go, like, my art I don't kids, understand how he runs away and his mom rents him a villa on an island so that we can be down the road from the beach. Well, you're not going to run away from a villa, Ryan. I mean, sure, maybe, but Jesus... Yeah. He was running away because he just wanted to go party. Podcast. I was a good cookie and did not have these kinds of. You had a kid early. What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, but <Good>. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I was premarital a sex, Karina. Yeah, premarital Shame sex. Shame on you. Shame on you. And it's you. your fault, Ryan. It is your fault, you inseminator. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Yeah. I love it when she calls me that. Don't well, I can't. And now do you're that, but, yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, this got weird. We're cutting it. Never mind. Podcast is over. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. We have editing abilities. Never mind. Bye, Slim Chances Podcast. JK See motherfucker. Ya. See ya. Um it got but dark. no. So I haven't even you, told uh, my chick story yet. We can't end it. Oh wow, I no, agree. No, I ahead, need the ahead. chick story. No, 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 no. We're talking about other shit right now. Yeah, yeah. No, it's too late. We switched. No, we didn't. No. We got thirty. It's we're at thirty six minutes. The chick story is like ten minutes. We'll 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 hit it right at the end. We haven't done any segments this podcast, and it's actually rolled pretty good though. It's weird. <laughs> like, Look, I'm, I'm telling you, going to the store was great. Don't get me wrong. I've enjoyed the segments. I think they definitely brought a new element to the podcast and it made it like better. But it was cool to like, uh, look, we don't have nothing, but let's just go ahead and run it anyways. <laughs> we should get on something like that. We're like, because I mean, the segments are great, but also being able to freely hang out and do what the podcast was originally intended to do, which is bullshit with your friends. That's nice too, you know? Well, that's like... Sometimes the, the segments can feel a little too structured where it's like, uh... With Jake, I... um. I did his first thing and I told him like, oh, we're recording or whatever. And then we shut it off and then I recorded another like hour. And then we got done with the hour because it, we had we had a, like a vibe going on where we were like just bullshitting. And it, you could tell I've known Jake a long goddamn time. You could tell when he knew he was getting recorded versus when he didn't know he was getting recorded. So I wanted to see if I could get a little bit more. And we'd already had a previous conversation where he was, where we were talking about something. And I was like, yo, I should have turned the recorder on. It would have been good. We were just bullshitting. Like I'll, I have to cut out the scenes where we're smoking. Thank you for listening to the Slim Chances podcast. And now for a word from our sponsors. Hey everybody. This is double D 420. Go ahead and give me a follow on Twitch. Come join our family. Number one group of supporters there are. Everybody loves everybody. Typically, you can find us playing first-person shooters, but sometimes we like to take it easy and just chat. And if that sounds like anything that you would like, you know, we're always looking to add more members to the family. Major shout-out to Slim Chance Podcast, a.k.a. the best mod there is. And now for a word from our sponsors. Hello, everyone. We have created a cash app. If you would like to show monetary support, in our future endeavors and creations, or just support to show that you appreciated the art that we have already created. We would appreciate it. If not, continue to enjoy our content. Thank you. Hello, Slim Chances Podcast family. There is a support button on the Anchor page where you can support us financially. Thank you. Hey, everybody. This is Double D 420 Go ahead and give me a follow on Twitch. Come join our family. Number one group of supporters there are. Everybody loves everybody. Typically, you can find us playing first-person shooters, but sometimes we like to take it easy and just chat. 
If that sounds like anything that you would like, you know, we're always looking to add more members to the family. Major shout out to Slim Chance Podcast, aka the best mod there is. But, um, like it, it was cool. So he's like, "Oh, you should just from from now on, like if you just catch the vibe, just turn it on, and we'll you can cut out whatever you want to cut out." So, anyways, that's what I did, and I caught like a whole another hour worth of like a literally a fucking podcast because it was like every bit of it is usable because it was just him being genuine or us being genuine, but. So that's another, yeah, it is, it is cool not having the, the structure of it. And, and with him, like, I didn't feel like I could or needed the structure where it's like, it'd be fucking weird to try and like, oh, what are your beefs this, this week, Jake? Like, what are you <laughs> like? But you know what? <laughs> I, you cut, hate, I caught that episode. <laughs> I caught that episode while I was up visiting my dad and my stepmom and Jack. It was, like, the middle of the night. Dude, I swear to God, it was probably, like, 12 in the morning after we had, like, I drank a shit ton and, like, whatever. Because the only person that I'll ever I drink with in my life apparently is my stepmom. I did. I, that's, listen, I'm Shout telling the you, sponsors. like, the whole time. Hey, <laughs> Kevin Wallace. <laughs> it's not Kevin. <laughs> anyway, so, the whole time <laughs> I was up there, right? And, like, I was showing my, uh, my stepmom and my dad. I'm like, oh, my gosh, guys, look at our podcast. Look at our podcast. But anyway, so I caught that episode while I was super fucking drunk. And I was, like, laying down, going to go to bed. And I was like, oh, let me check out the episode with Jake. Like, that's exciting because I've known Jake, too, for a long time because I've known you for a long time, right? I was so excited. And as a kid, I hated, like, you and Jake because we're always together. And now that I'm, a, like, a grown-up and stuff, I love the relationship, like, because we're friends now, you know, and I didn't like you back then because you were mean to me back then. But now that we're friends and you're not- <laughs> <laughs> and you're nice to me now, I love your relationship with Jake, and I think it's really wholesome and sweet. That's all. Oh, <laughs> let me shot. How dare you be mean to my wife, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your wife because you won't yeah. marry me, Ryan. She had yeah. parents. Ryan? <laughs> yeah, let's she take this heat like off of me. Yeah, let's take this heat up. Yeah, Ryan. Back to the real problem at Brian? hand. That's not me. Brian? Um <laughs> But anyways, Sean's yeah. Sean's never I, a problem. We love I Sean. apologize. I don't know. At one point I didn't know what was going on in my life, but this isn't the point. Um, the point Listen, being I is, still don't know what's going on in my life, Sean. I understand completely. The, the point being is that that podcast did get a little like deep and like a little weird and like like it was good. It was all, yeah. I just you Dave. know right because you don't normally <laughs> you don't normally like process your feelings like on and it wasn't purposeful for that. We've just like as time has progressed and. I've taken my time away and he's taken his time away. And at this point it's just like, I don't know. Like the, 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 the bullshit that at one point was necessary in between. It's like, I don't need to bullshit with either one of you. I have no need. I've known both of you long enough where at this point I could, I could play the, whatever the role is or whatever, but it's not necessary. So as much as mm-hmm. I could come to your house and try and play by your rules and tell your kids like, "How oh, hi, how are you doing?" It's like, "Yo, Andrew, get the fuck in here, man. What are we talking about?" Yeah. I'm not I'm not going to play this shit. And if you don't want me around your kids, that's cool. Then we won't hang out, but I'm just going to let you know this is the type of person I am. So Hey. Uh, so I that- mean just being unapologetically yourself and not caring. Like that's what's important, you know? But that authentic that, that has been a weird dynamic with somebody that was your boy at one uh, has been your boy, but like growing up as guys, you don't have feelings. There's not, there's not feel. You're just your boys. Your bullshit is your bullshit outside of that. So to grow up and both start recognizing, like, like when Jason killed himself, that was the turning point that opened up the ability for there to be a little bit of communication for like, yo, how are you doing? And at first 
that was just kind of all it was where it's just like, how are you doing? How are you doing? But as the years have progressed, it's just like I could unload a three paragraph message about some bullshit I'm going through or vice versa. And whereas back in the day, it would have been like, yeah, why are you being a little bitch? Right. Whereas. Yeah. Now, Pussy. Now, yeah. Right. Now it's just like, oh, fuck, man. Like, well, actually, this is what I think about that or what, like, whatever, you know? Yeah. So, so the dynamic has changed. But that that's just in yeah. general with all people, because at, at the same Growing time. Growing up. At, yeah, yeah, at the same time, I wouldn't have been able to process anything further at our earlier ages either. I wouldn't have been able to fucking talk about whatever, or deal with whatever. I didn't know how to fucking do any of that shit either, you know? So. Oh, yeah, hey. look at your facial hair. Yeah, Sean That's definitely. what makes you a man. <laughs> therapy. For sure, definitely. <laughs> he said therapy. No, Sean hit that. He was talking about... For for a long time growing up, you said uh, Jake was your hero, and I was like, "Well, what's in my eye? Oh, I hear, something's in my eye." <laughs> I hear what you're saying, but that, but I I didn't get to, and, and not to take away from it, but the, I, what I was trying to recognize is I started. It took me a while. I started seeing the progression of that. That started out with like I, we're young. That's your like older brother or whatever it may be. The the mm-hmm. he's a little bit older. He's a little bit cooler. I didn't have the confidence that he had. There was there was shit that attributes that he had that at a young age, yeah, it was like the hero. And then I I but I took that and ran with that with multiple characters over time. And I I didn't recognize it until later where it's like I was idolizing you at a point, which is not not bad but you 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 take all these pillars and then because yeah you have to develop yourself what your own person is right right, right. and yeah. that was that was the the conversation that we were having but yeah it did it did, that's and that's exactly what i would say yeah it got it got deep where you're like I, and we as much as we have talked it we definitely probably hit some topics that like we've never talked about just man to man where it was like oh yeah this is is real that's why it was funny because there was and i actually i put it in there and i almost didn't and but jake never said nothing where like i said something and you like jake got in his feels you could you could see it his face got a little red like he was like oh man like oh shit like what's up brother you know what i mean like so but to catch that on camera is not and not purposefully, like we're just really having a conversation. And right. once you talk on Discord so much, like we'll bullshit normally. We don't have to be podcasting. So it becomes normal where you're like, yeah. technically, yes, we're recording right now. But it's so normal for us to talk like this where it's just like, oh, yeah, whatever. exactly. Yeah. 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 So uh, it was just interesting too, because like watching it, I'm like, that's why I messaged you. I was like, we need to do a podcast where we get like the whole Castleoma crew. So I've already, on. I've already talked. Logan's down. Jake is hey. obvi- obviously down. Um, Dominic, it wouldn't even. It would just be like, I need you to do it, and like it, he'd be down. Um, he, yeah, Dominic. Yeah, Dominic. Of course, would be. The problem. The problem here lies. There are. There are integral pieces but outliers to to the casaloma crew and so, and so who are you talking about? and so <laughs> who, who do we include i have aaron on my facebook i could technically re- no aaron crow yeah i could technically re- i've looked for him on facebook for i looked for a while like i could never I, find him I could, or his mom i wanted to find his mom i could i could technically reach out to him and and see if he would be up for it i don't see why he wouldn't i that um, would be some crazy shit i have felicia on facebook i don't i don't technically see why she wouldn't and if we're being completely real right the, the the people I've known the longest are you, Dominic, and Felicia. Those are like mm-hmm. the, the our group, like the people like that start like that I remember like not to say that everybody got along, just the kids that were there that were recognizable <laughs> yeah. at a point. Like we didn't like each other. I, <laughs> we didn't like each other. 
we did I, that. But I also need you to understand, like, people didn't like each other at different points of different, like, right. There was like it was clicks. there were moments, you yeah, know, yeah, definitely, and people did things, and then you would like. Do you know who I have on Facebook? So go ahead, go ahead. I am Lily. Okay. I have Ronnie. <laughs> I have Ronnie on Facebook. Does, I have Ronnie and Stephanie. Does Does Daniel need to be a part of it? Stephanie's pregnant. Oh God! Does Daniel need to be a does part of it? Daniel no, I'm just kidding. It'd be, okay. It'd be fine. He's uh, excluded. Um. <laughs> well, because because the problem is Daniel still harbors a hatred towards all the people that he feels that. Did him wrong in his did childhood. Did him wrong, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he nice. doesn't. He doesn't. Hey, look, that'd be a great podcast. I gotta get another beer. I don't know why we were talking about this. I don't know. Daniel should definitely be a part of the podcast. Look, he should run the beef segment and but just this- make a list. <laughs> that would be the entire podcast. But this, but this is the problem that I have with that, right? Because like I've tried to talk to him over. Like, look. We we all were young and dumb and doing dumb shit. So it's like there might be little. You could bring up any little beef that you have. I I just don't see the worth in it at this point in our lives, right? Because now the worth is the comedy. You have him log in, come into the podcast. I, I actually rattle don't, off the beefs. I actually, I actually don't log like off because the problem is I, I I genuinely care about Daniel. Daniel was there for me at a time that I I didn't. I didn't have anybody else around. I was beefing with my people with Jake and them. So I just, I didn't have nobody. I had the Heather situation was going on. That literally all originated over at Daniel's house. Like that was that anyways, point being is I don't, I don't want him to have a problem. I really, I wish, I wish, I wish I could just go like, yo, Daniel, like we're, we're about to. Well, do I whole- picture it as a him clearing his chest. I feel, you know? That's not necessarily not him being miserable about it, but I don't know it. Daniel like that either. So that's yeah, not it. See, he doesn't have a clear his chest. To an extent, we can't even right. hear you, oh, guys. Yeah. You're a uh, robot. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. We would like to introduce you to uh, Bender 2.0. <laughs> Okay, so you're saying it's ho shit, and I understand where you're coming from, and I, I, I get oh wow, it. I'm on one percent Slim Pandas podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking great. That was really good. We really needed. That. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck my story. We'll deal with my story later. This is look, we we, we were never gonna get on like a solo podcast, but we're here. We're here. Um we've already been going for forever. But this is my friend Karina, guys. And we're we were never gonna do a little interview, but you've got enough of both of us now that like you you know the vibe, right? I've known Karina since fucking too long, right? Like there was like <laughs> there was like I lived on the first street. She lived pretty much on the last street. And we've known each other since f- f- fucking who knows when. And second grade. Because we... Oh, oh wow. We went to the, the same elementary school. I don't even know how that slipped my mind. We went to... And, <laughs> and out, of all the, out of all the classes, we were in the same group of kids that would be in the same class. So... Yep. Um. Yeah, this is a mini sode here, but uh, yeah, 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 this is Karina. This is my best friend now, guys. We best have, friend. We have made we it. Kicked Ryan out. Yeah, Ryan's <laughs> gone. Ryan was on one percent. I don't know if he's gonna try and join back in, but we don't need him. Um, we don't. We don't need him. We don't. We run him. the show. We do run it's the our show. Podcast. <laughs> it really is our podcast. But um, yeah, I. Sooner or later, we actually do have to do a whole episode where we just kind of sit down and bullshit. I've been trying to do that with every person. I haven't done it with Ryan yet either. Where I I was actually just thinking the other day, where it's like I need to do the the interviews with like the people that I know because it really hit different when I did Jake's. Where I was like, I have this vibe with a bunch of people though, where it's like I could literally talk for hours and not have the 
the background like oh what are your beefs or what are your this or what are your that yeah exactly yeah. that's what i was saying like the all the segments like they're fun to do but it's also like it feels so structured to the point of like you feel but, like you have to stick to like a certain schedule of it but we were kind of for a while kind of getting lost in it where it was like we need to do something because we'll get into these these tangents about dumb shit where it's like Oh, we gotta. This has to be steered, kind of. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So Ryan's not here, and we don't have, we don't have to peel off in a whole nother. I actually will tell you. I gotta tell you about the whole situation because I'm excited about it. So. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> I have a problem. Sean, do you jail. like country music? Uh, I'm I gonna actually, go to jail. <laughs> what do you mean? It's gonna be okay, Karina. <laughs> no we'll be all right um i do like country music i turned off the country music because it always made me like sad so like when i first started listening to oh, country okay. music it was like with heather so because of that like for a long time i would not but like i will now yeah, I don't, me yeah. Too. yeah i don't mind it I did that with metal for a long time because it reminded me of Ryan. Yeah, you fuck, you piece of. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, guys. And we, now he listens right. to rap all the time. We went a hundred. Uh, 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 one hour and forty-two minutes. That's a long. I know time. it's late. Yeah. I know it's ten forty-three. I agree, but it's been nice. It's Listen. been so long, guys. It's been so long. Hey, I miss much you. Much love to the podcast family. Yes. Uh, when are we hanging out? Oh, I, mean, I guess I guess I'll see you Saturday, so that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're welcome to come over for dinner any night of the week, or you can shoot us an invite at any point in time in your life that you want to. Ryan, you haven't you haven't called me any night of the week, and then all of a sudden, I need to. I need to we need to air this out. If we're going to talk about it. You haven't nice. called me any night of the week, and then all of a sudden today, you're like, "Well, I've been busy on the weekends." It's like, yeah, yeah, I completely agree. And then I'm tired on the weekdays. You know how that is. Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I'm going to back off. I will right. say, in his defense, he does have a lot going on right now. We're I for sure know. work but is get crazy. over it this work. is what i need to tell you ryan work is not where it matters your family matters we love you we need your attention i know and but they pay we... me so much money so that i can pay for the things that make everybody yeah. happy no, no no see this is what i need you to understand i make my own money ryan i just need you to love me and you're not loving me enough <laughs> but it's okay all right anyways yeah, yeah, yeah love your family and do what you need to do i miss you guys it's been forever jesus christ <laughs> Uh, Look, man, you are welcome to show us an invite for dinner anytime you want. All right, well, I'm waiting on a line dancing in. invite, but other than that, I'm free, bro. I'm free. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> look, but uh, all right. What's up, guys? <laughs> Much love, love, homie. Honey. I will talk to you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, thank you for supporting the Slim Chances Podcast family. Um, shout out to Ryan, shout out to Karina, uh, shout out to Double D420, shout out to G Bro, shout out to the whole Slim Chances Podcast family and all the supporters, anybody that listens. Uh, we appreciate all of you and peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Check us out on Apple, YouTube, Spotify, we're everywhere. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave us some suggestions. We'd love to hear your feedback and we'll check you out next time. Bye guys. Hey guys. Thanks for checking out the podcast. We really had a good time today. Um, I hope you guys come back and check us out again. Uh, you feel free to like and subscribe and we would love to see you as a regular viewer. Thank you so much. <laughs>